Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. This is your friend, the Sheep of the Good Shepherd 26. This video is going to be about exposing false prophets by proving the spirits. I hereby freely confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. So, brethren, this is what the Holy Bible says itself right here. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he, Jesus, that is in you, than he, the enemy, the blind devil that's in the world. Thanks be to God. And then there's even another area here where it talks about that in Second uh, John, or is it Third John? Um, I know it's here somewhere. Yeah, God's word is so true. I'm gonna expose them in real time. Watch uh, with evidence in so many words, because it's on evidence. It's real, you know, real time. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So the Holy Bible says, brethren. Do you all believe the Holy Bible to be true? Yes or no? I do, yes. The Holy Bible is true. So if you believe the Holy Bible to be true, take good heed unto what it says there, brethren. All right, now you're going to hear this woman that couldn't confess it. Fine. What? Right here. I'll give you a second opportunity here. Do you want to hear a question from a brother in the Lord? Of course I'll hear a question. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the question is a yes or no, and according to the Holy Bible, anything that cometh other than yes or no cometh of evil. So yes or no, can you confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Yes or no? Yes, yes, of course he came in the flesh. But can you please confess it? He dwells among us. Yes, he was flesh. Can you say Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? He has come in the flesh. No, the Bible says... Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Can you repeat that? Can you confess that? I know he came in the flesh. That's what I know to be true. That's not what it says. It doesn't say came. It says is come. If you cannot confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, according to the Bible, he you... knows my heart, and he knows my heart and my motives, and he has come in the flesh. Not has come, is come. Can you repeat? Jesus Christ he is... Come in the flesh. Yes, he did come in the flesh. Okay, I have an instruction for you. I want you to read 1 John chapter 4 from the King James Version, and I'll give you another opportunity. Can you confess Jesus Christ you know what, is... See, she wouldn't do it. And then she actually got mad and hung up the phone. It's right there, brethren. Whether you, you know, believe it or not, it's written. That's what it says. If this causes people to get offended, that's not my problem. You can pray about that. that the Word of God says what it says. She couldn't confess it. Proved her spirit. Not even this person could confess it. Uh, according to the way it's written in the King James Bible, it says Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And can you say it? The, can you say it the way it's worded? I don't know exactly how it's worded, but I know he came in the flesh. I know. He, I know this. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit. He was born by a virgin. He had lived a life of no sin because he's a lamb. Yes. He was persecuted for our sins, put that on the cross, went down into hell, took the keys from Lucifer. That way he had full authority over life and death. And the third day he arose, he walked for 40 days, and he ascended into heaven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going by the way it's written, and I think it's First John chapter 4, it says something like this in the King James, Wherefore, dearly beloved, you know, this is how you test, I'm paraphrasing it, this is how you test the spirits, whether you know they are of God or not, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. Any spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Any spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, but this is that spirit of Antichrist. So I just want to hear you confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Jesus Christ came in the flesh. No, not came in the flesh. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Can you say that? He did come in the flesh. The thing is, is you're changing the wording of it. You can look it up in the Bible. No, 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 no. I don't know what you're hearing, what you're reading, but I'm saying this. I know that he came by the gift of God and the Holy Spirit. And he 
been born and with having the spirit of God with him to give him that power that he has on earth so that he was not sinned. That's why he was the lamb. He's the one with no blemish. Right. Do you read from the King James Bible or what translation do you read from? I, I, I read from... Well, I, I read the King James. I, I, gee, I, I, there's about five or six different ones. Plus, I got a books that go way back. I do a lot of research, too, and I do a lot of stuff in reference to Hebrews, and so does my wife and stuff. So, like, okay. right now, what I'm really uh, reading is... I believe it's the NIV. Yeah, that's a perversion. Uh, there's truth in that translation, but there's a lot of uh, omissions, you know, and they, they didn't translate it correctly. So, yeah, he can confess it either. And then this other person couldn't even confess it. Watch. At this time, can watch. Yes. The trumpets were... Should, uh, Hang on. Should, right here. Uh, yeah, like I said, question real quick. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Can you confess Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Yes. Can I hear it? Yes, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Okay, can you say it a little bit slower, please? Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Uh, I want to repeat it one more time. Jesus, can you confess Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Okay, can you say that one more time a little slower, please? Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And I'll say, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. All right, that's correct. That sounded correct to me because that's what the Bible says about how to prove the spirits. And he's, now, you have to be aware, it doesn't say to test the spirits twice. And it's a confession. A confession has to be done of their own free will. It can't be compelled, coerced, or forced in any way. And it took him a while to get it right. You know, you only had to ask him one time. So he couldn't really confess that at the first. I don't really consider that a valid confession. If he can do it again of his own free will, without me like pressuring him into doing it, then I'll consider it valid. And then these other people here can do it either, watch. There's a woman on YouTube called um, Servant for His Glory, 44, Janet. Watch. This was a text message, because I was texting her at a certain, certain point in time. Read that for yourselves. Alright, she's another false prophet. And I will say that. Whether anybody likes it or dislikes it, this is the truth. I don't care who they are. What job title you have, if you're not able to confess Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh, and I don't trust you at all, whatsoever at all. Look at that. She, she changed it from is come to I believe Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. And of course I know Jesus Christ, you know, in the past he did come in the flesh. He was, he, he, you know, when he was a man. But as it is in the Bible, is come in the flesh. Present tense, Christ dwells in our hearts by faith right now. Christ in us is a hope of glory, so she failed the confession right there. And then look at furthermore, watch. Watch. And she still wouldn't want to do it. I don't feel led to continue to answer. If this answer is not in accordance with your standards, to your, it's not my standards, the one set by the King James Bible. You are welcome to not associate with me. And then she goes on to say more there. I don't believe people that are can't even confess it, brethren. You prove their spirits. And she didn't even want to answer who she says Jesus Christ is. And this and this and that. Don't be deceived, brethren. False prophets. You know, they need to be told the truth. And she was over here trying to get my address. Pretending like, oh, I just want to send you a CD. I don't believe that. That's deception. Nope. Don't trust people like that, brethren. And this guy either, he couldn't even confess it either. Um, his name's Leroy. His wife's name is Phyllis. He couldn't even confess it. Look, changed it right away. Wait a minute, what's this? Alright, so he couldn't confess it there. There's more, brethren. Whoever this was, that person couldn't confess it either. All right, I showed you that already. All right, so don't trust her at all. Now, there's even more people here, look. It's Tony Early, the Cataclysm Tony Early. 
they, they, hey, this is what the Bible says, brethren. If you don't like it, pray about it, because it says that in the Bible. And look, he couldn't even do it either. He changed it. Jesus Christ came in the flesh, see? And he wouldn't even correct it either. I gave him the opportunity to correct it. He wouldn't do it. Why did he feel the need to change his biblical confession? The biblical confession is only seven words. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. He wouldn't do it, brethren. And who else is this? Uh, her channel name is called something, a voice calling. Some woman that also couldn't confess it. Well, she came kind of close, but she put an exclamation point at the end instead of a period. You might say, oh, you're being too technical. Well, the Bible says what it says. Any word change is invalid. Watch. She said, is it, where is it at? I know what I read. Hang on. She edited it. It used to have an exclamation mark there at the period. And then she just conveniently edited it instead of making a completely brand new confession. Thought I wouldn't notice that, huh? Well, I do notice that. So be aware of her too, brethren. That's what she looks like. Yeah, you're all getting exposed. Yeah, she edited that big time. And then whoever that was, um, I didn't even really watch. You know, I clicked on the video, but I didn't hear what she had to say because I wanted to hear her confess it first. So there I go asking her right here somewhere. Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. I expect an answer. She didn't even respond at all, so I don't trust her. And then there's this other person, Mal loves Yah. Oh, she's speaking against the Apostle St. Paul. Big old false prophet. Yeah, word God sharp, isn't it? Yeah, it's all true. Look at that, she changed it too. And he did come in the flesh. Ah, invalid. Your confession is invalid. All right, now, there was somebody there too. Whoever was commenting there wouldn't answer the question. Nope, didn't even respond. And there's more people watch. Um, who is this person? Oh, yeah, I, I don't watch that guy's channel hardly any. Uh, what is that called? Uh, sound the alarm, Jesus is coming. He put a big old long response. He didn't confess it. And I'm not going to read the whole response. It'll take too much time. But he's just quoting a bunch of scriptures, but yet not confessing. But I simply asked him to confess. This is serious, brethren. You really believe the Bible? You better start proving the spirits before you go believing people. Because they're very deceptive. And this woman, too. Well, actually, I didn't prove her spirit from what I remember. I may have in the past, but she was ignoring my question. You know, and it was on purpose, I'm pretty sure. You know, God knows their heart, ultimately. And I'm going by the Bible. And she wasn't preaching the gospel of salvation at 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. She was simply preaching a different version of the gospel that, oh, to be saved, just ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. She didn't mention the precious blood atonement of Jesus Christ, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. You know, so that's that's not the gospel. If they're just preaching, oh, just ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart to be saved. It, it, you have to believe how that Christ died for our sins. Agreeing to the scriptures, and he was buried and he rose again on the third day, according to the scripture. And she wouldn't answer my question with a yes or no. Yeah, they get all offended right away. Most people ask him yes or no question. They get pissed. Well, that's their problem, not mine. Well, she can sure respond to those other people. But when it comes to my questions, nope. Got offended. Or whatever happened. Didn't want to answer my questions. Being discourteous. And love is courteous. And um, that guy's of God. He's of God. So that's the people there that couldn't confess it. And then there's... Um, well, there's a whole bunch more that I just wasn't able to find all the, the evidence, all the pictures or video recordings. But you just ask them for yourselves. Can you confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? And if they change any word, then it's an invalid confession, brethren. Believe the word of God. It's all true. I've even proved spirits in dreams. And not e people in dreams sometimes can't even confess Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. It is a true test, brethren, a way to prove, try the spirits, you know. Jesus wants us to be aware and take good heed that we be not deceived. So those are the people that have been exposed. And anybody else who wants to be next, you will be next. If you don't confess what the Bible says of your own free will, then I'm not going to trust you. And I will expose you if God leads me to. So uh, that's, that's what I have to share for now. And I'll share more since I do have a little bit of time.
Oh, Father, thank you for your wisdom of your word and for teaching us, helping us by your word, Father, and the Holy Spirit, that we take good heed unto what you say, that we be not deceived. Thank you for your word, God. I pray these people come out of their deception and that they repent, Lord. Please draw them to Jesus by the Holy Spirit, Lord. God, you know everything. And I'm, I'm trusting in your word, God, not in what they say. So I thank you for your mercy, God. Please uh, help them come to you. Uh, they turn away from their wicked ways and, and turn into honesty. Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, brethren, so I think since I have some time to share with you guys, I'll just share some wisdom. Uh, as you know, as it says here in 1 John chapter 5, verse uh, 19, And we know that we are of God, and that the whole world, and the whole world lieth in wickedness, or as it says in Matthew's Bible, and we know that we are of God, and that the world is altogether set on wickedness. So you can't trust people in government, brethren. They're set on wickedness. All of them. I don't care who they are. They're violating human rights. Whether it's a secretary, she's the one drafting up the arrest warrants and stuff. The judges, the bailiffs, the attorneys, prosecutors, district attorneys. All of them are enforcing the deceit, fraud, color of law for a paycheck. And there is nobody protecting our rights in government. Nobody. You wonder why things are the way they are. Because when good men don't do anything about it and punish the wicked doers, well, then they oppress the poor people. And God doesn't want the poor to be suffering, the innocent, you know, the poor, the, the ones that aren't guilty of committing any real crime. He doesn't want them suffering. You know, they're supposed to do justice. It says in Isaiah 56, I believe, watch. I already shared this. So government creates evil. Authority creates evil. You know, that. think about it. I mean, the, all the way back... Since the beginning, uh, at least, pretty close, you know, even in Jesus' days, it was government that was causing the evil. You know, they, they're they always the ones. You know, they're not here to help us. They're here to steal, kill, and destroy by lies and deception. You know, look what, what they've been doing this last three years. Yeah, we, we have to be careful what we say because of the, you know, censorship, the violation of the freedom of speech, the wicked doers that are being covetous to keep the truth away from you. There's all kinds of deception. Don't you trust nothing they advertise? No fake nasal swab test, no injections of any kind. They're all of the devil. Now, I'm not the judge. Jesus Christ is the judge, the righteous judge. So Everybody better trust in Jesus, because maybe you guys don't realize, but the Bible is very sharp. And you better take good heed unto what Jesus has to say right there. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So I only have less than a minute to talk, brethren. But yeah, there's so much deception happening on the earth, and Jesus wants us to be faithful to him. You say you believe in Jesus, prove it. Put your full trust in him. Put your full trust in him, not just partial, because look what it says here in Psalm 73. This is very important. For lo, they that forsake thee shall perish. Thou destroyest all them that commit fornication against thee. The footnote there says they commit fornication against him, that put their confidence, that put their trust in any other than in him alone. So you better trust God alone. The Lord our God is a jealous God. And an all-consuming fire, you know, so... Trust fully in God if you say you believe in Him. And, you know, the color of law, the covetousness is the root of all evil. They want to, every, they want, they're coveting your property, people. They want you to pay taxes. They want your papers, registration, proof of insurance, license. They want to charge you to use your own private property. They want